Good afternoon. We are Team 67, the Warfats. Thank you for inviting us to SpaceX. Our, pro our project is the Electromagnetic Astronaut Restraint System, or EARS. EARS helps prevent the deterioration of astronauts' balance during long-term space travel but by providing fixed anchors to serve as reference points for the balance system during the workday. Mr. Musk, did you know an astronaut's balance system is so disrupted by microgravity that they have to be carried off the spacecraft when they return to Earth? It takes weeks to recover. Imagine arriving on Mars after 18 months of space flight and being unable to walk or complete basic physical tasks. Time will be of the essence when arriving on Mars as they will be setting out to do. There is no team, there is no safety or recovery center or a team of doctors waiting on Mars. In fact, NASA has acknowledged that the problem of the the problem of deterioration of astronauts' balance in microgravity must be solved to enable another mission to Mars. We use many resources to learn about human balance and the effects of space on the human body. North Carolina's NASA ambassador, Tony Rice, came to a school and talked about the unique challenges that affect astronauts. Mr. Rice's presentation led us to watch Scott Kelly's documentary, Beyond Here in Space. Then we consulted with Dr. Hagen, an emergency physician, and Dr. Ayers, an athletic chiropractor, to learn more about the human body and how it maintains balance on Earth. We learned that balance is a complex, multi-sensory process that is constantly adapting to input from your body. Your brain takes input from your eyes, inner ear, and proprioceptive sensors and pulls them all together to give you good balance. Because there are no fixed reference points of microgravity, there is a mismatch between these sensory inputs. Over time, the brain adapts to this mismatch. However, when an astronaut returns to Earth, they have to readapt to the mismatch. This takes several weeks. Currently, astronauts hook their feet on our metal rails to stay in place for many hours each day. This type of anchor does not get their reference points. Their, does not get their balance system the reference points needed to match up the sensors. Other side effects of the metal rails include sores and calluses on the top of the feet. system provides two anchor points under the balls of the feet that coordinate them in the head, shoulders, and ankles to simulate Earth-like feedback in your balance system. Our innovative solution, the Electromagnetic Astronaut Restraint System, or EARS, reduces balance deterioration and microgravity. EARS is made of two parts, a shoe first round the sole, and a row of electromagnets inside a rail. When an astronaut places their foot on the EARS rail, the electromagnets engage, and that astronaut's shoe attaches to the rail. Now the astronaut is standing at their workstation. As they move and reach, their eyes, inner ear, and proprioceptive sensors send signals back to the brain, similar to being in Earth's gravity. Our system has several important features. First, it is programmed to exert force beneath the individual based on their strength and mass. Second, it is quick and easy for astronauts to detach from their works to, from the rail. Third and finally, it is easy to install. Our electromagnetic rails would simply attach to the blue rails currently on the spacecraft. In addition, EARS maximizes astronaut comfort by encouraging a neutral body posture, allowing maximum mobility and reach. It is also a new solution that solves a problem that NASA has acknowledged is crucial to enabling a manned mission to Mars. This solution will also benefit astronauts on the ISS. To develop our solution, we follow NASA's design process, design, build, test, analyze, and iterate. We built several prototypes, ran into plenty of challenges along the way, and updated our design many times to build our functional prototype. We wanted to test our design in microgravity, but we didn't have time to build a rocket. <laughs> <laughs> we developed a bill of materials and completed the cost analysis. We also did magnetic field testing of the electromagnets and found that it would not be a significant safety concern. This information can be found in our project notebook. We wanted to sh we shared an innovative solution with Dr. Lewis, Dr. Mitchell, and Dr. Haugen. We also shared our solution with Mark Thornbloom of the Space Technology Mission Directorate at the NASA Langley Research Center and with, re with retired Brigadier General Robert L. Stewart, the Army's first astronaut. General Stewart was responsible for testing the foot restraints on the end of the boom on the Challenger. We received valuable feedback from everyone we shared with. And now, we're here sharing our innovative solution with you, Mr. Musk. We, we want, want to help you send the first humans to Mars. Thank you for your time. We will now be happy to take any questions. 454.